For those who may not know, the RAINS Act is common sense legislation in my book where any regulation that's proposed that would have an economic impact on the U.S. economy of over $100 million would have to be reviewed by Congress. As a taxpayer and as an American citizen, I would feel more comfortable if members of Congress could review re regulations on the front end before they have a major economic impact to our economy. My family moved to Kentucky in the 1780s. I'm a ninth generation Kentuckian and my family has been farming the soil of Kentucky for well over 200 years. I think that most farmers just want government to get out of the way. Let us do what we do best and that's feed people. And so anytime a new law or regulation is put into place, you know, farmers are very conservation oriented. We want to make sure the environment's in good shape so we can pass that farm down to the next generation. But I think there's a big disconnect between maybe the intent of a law that's passed and what the regulations actually say. There's plenty of examples of that in agriculture and other natural resource industries, but I think a lot of Americans may not realize how much regulations affect their day of life. I think most people know um, about which laws you have to obey. You know what the speed limit is when you're driving down the interstate, but you may not know about all the regulations that were put in to the car that you're driving in. Well, anytime a, a regulation goes into effect that adds to the cost of bringing a product to market, it's going to be paid for by the consumer. A great example of this is with our banking industry is that when the Dodd-Frank Act was passed, a lot of smaller community banks or regional banks had to have more compliance that may have been geared towards Wall Street, but here in rural Kentucky, these small banks, instead of hiring a new bank teller or a new loan officer, they had to hire more compliance folks, which only caused the cost of business to go up. You know, agriculture is unique. We operate under these specific windows. There's a time to plant, there's a time to harvest, and you really can't change that with Mother Nature. And when you have 1.7% of the population feeding the rest of America, and let's be honest, we feed a lot of people around the world as well, sometimes policymakers may not understand or they just make assumptions about agriculture, which is really one of the worst things you can do. And so we in ag and we in farming embrace science-based decision-making. And so when we want to make sure that we're adequately measuring carbon sequestration in the soil, we need to make sure that that method is actually done by a third party. It's backed up by research and not backed up by emotion. Another major concern, not just in Kentucky agriculture, but American agriculture, would be the effects of, say, a Green New Deal legislation or even worse off, what regulations would be put in place if some of these laws were to be passed by Congress. One of the most common questions I get out in the field is, is, is cow flagellants, should that be taxed? And I know it's something to kind of laugh about sometimes, but it's a serious conversation in America. These are the regulations that average Kentucky farmers are talking about around their kitchen tables every day. And so we have to be very careful to make sure that environmental policy, agriculture policy is based off sound science and not emotion. And sometimes we unfortunately see that in proposed legislation or perhaps in proposed regulations as well. The bottom line, as a farm kid, we just wanna grow food in America and not grow the number of regulations in America.